There are so many chocolate bars out there, but only a few have garnered worldwide recognition, and Toblerone is one of them. In a competitive industry like the chocolate industry, Toblerone has managed to maintain its relevance for over 115 years as a brand and carve itself an important niche. We go behind the scenes to see how Toblerone is made, with a hint about the correct way to eat the chocolate. Although it is one of the world's most popular chocolate bars, Toblerone is best known for its distinctive shape, a series of triangular prims with lettering engraved in each prism of the chocolate. In the early 1900s, a new Toblerone recipe was created where crushed almond honey nougat was added to the original chocolate. At the same time, a new shape, the triangle, was chosen for the chocolate. Bar sizes may range from 10 centimeters to nearly one meter. There is the mini bar with three triangular peaks, the 35 gram bar with eight triangular peaks, the 50 gram bar with 11 triangular peaks, the 75 gram bar with 11 triangular peaks, the 100 gram bar with 12 triangular peaks, 150 gram bar with 9 triangular peaks, 200 gram bar with 10 triangular peaks, 360 gram bar with 11 triangular peaks, 750 gram bar with 17 triangular peaks, and 4.5 kilogram bar with 12 triangular peaks. For the yearly Toboron Shogi Fest, a special oversized bar is created to celebrate the bar's anniversary. Toblerone is now available worldwide and instantly recognized thanks to its unique chocolate peak shape and unmistakable packs. Toblerone is made with milk chocolate, which contains cocoa butter, egg white milk solids, and sugar. The sugar is combined with honey and almond nougat, which gives Toblerone its unique flavor and texture. In the Toblerone factory, the cocoa beans are first roasted till they achieve a dark brown coloration. The roasted beans are peeled, crushed, and grounded till it looks like a liquid chocolate mess. A beautiful mess, I'd say, which is formed due to the cocoa butter in the cocoa beans. This mess might look like chocolate, but it's not there yet because this raw cocoa is somewhat bitter. After the chocolate mess is formed, sugar and milk are added to it, and a conch, a chocolate mixing machine, mixes the ingredients together to give a mixture that tastes much better than just the liquid chocolate mess. The milk for Toblerone is gotten from 14,000 Swiss cows. Milk powder is an original idea by Philip Sutcher, and this idea is over 100 years old. Milk powder is used because it blends best with the cocoa mess because there is hardly any water content. Upon addition of the milk and sugar, the chocolate is still very coarse. Therefore, it is milled for an extended period until the content is very fine and small. The long stirring time makes the chocolate softer and creamier. And about seven conches run simultaneously in the Toblerone factory. Then, unique nougat pieces, which give the chocolate its exquisite taste, is then added. To make the nougat, honey is boiled until small bubbles are formed. While the honey is boiling, the icing sugar is mixed with water and allowed to boil too. The icing sugar paste is then mixed with the honey and allowed to boil forming a honey syrup. Once the honey syrup is cooled down, egg whites are whisked together, and then the honey syrup is added. The almond nuts are poured into the egg white honey syrup mix and put in a refrigerator to chill, forming a nougat. The nougat is eventually brought out of the refrigerator and broken into bits. The small bits of nougat are then mixed together with the chocolate and poured into a Toblerone mold, spread out evenly and left to cool. The resulting Toblerone chocolate is eventually packaged and stored for final consumer consumption. There are about 11 different varieties of this sweet chocolate. This chocolate company has played around with different flavors, such as fruit and nut, white chocolate, honeycomb, crispy coconut, salted almond, dark chocolate, and much more. However, if you're looking for a sweet, creamy taste, you could opt for the white chocolate Toblerone. This chocolate bar has the same delectable honey and almond nougat simply excluding any cocoa from the favorite blend. You could also try the milk chocolate with crunchy almonds, which takes the iconic classy milk chocolate bar and adds some crunch with a touch of premium caramelized almonds. However, my all-time personal favorite is the iconic Swiss chocolate, a creamy almond nougat which is still one of the world's most iconic chocolate brands for over a hundred years. 
Chocolate in its varied forms, candy bars, cocoa, cakes, and cookies, is probably everyone's favorite confection. Cocoa trees originated in South America's river valleys, and by the 7th century AD, the Mayans had brought them to Mexico. When Cortes, Pizarro, and other Spanish explorers arrived in Central America in the 15th century, they noted that cocoa beans were used as currency and that the upper class of the native populations drank cuacahuaro, a frothy beverage consisting of roasted cocoa beans blended with red pepper, vanilla, and water. And of course, cocoa beans are the primary component of chocolate. Toblerone's packaging holds clues that reveal where the candy is formed. While it's no secret that the chocolate is Swiss, the triangle on the box features one of the most famous mountains in the Alps, known as Matterhorn. This mountain is a stone's throw from Bern, where the original Swiss Toblerone has been made for more than a hundred years. And if you also look closely, you might discover that what looks like a shadow or patch of snow at first glance is actually a bear and is a symbol of Toblerone's hometown. The Toblerone story began with Jean Tobler, a chocolatier based in Bern. He first opened his own chocolate-based confectionery shop in 1868, and business was good. He later opened his own chocolate factory, called the Tobler Chocolate Factory in 1899, and a year later, the elderly Jean passed the reins of the family business to his son, Theodore. Eight years later, Theodore Tobler and his son Emil Bauman created a unique recipe consisting of milk chocolate, including nougats, almonds, and honey. The product's name is a portmanteau, combining Tobler's name with the Italian word Tyrone, a type of nougat. In 1909, Theodore Tobler applied for a patent for the Toblerone manufacturing process, and the Toblerone brand was trademarked at the Swiss Federal Institute of Intellectual Property. The original factory is in Bern's Long Ass, and all Toblerone was produced there until the 1980s. Today, the building is part of the University of Bern and is called the Uni Tobler. And there's still a Toblerone exhibition in the basement of the building to date. You may have eaten Toblerone chocolate, but do you really know the proper way to eat one? And if you haven't, I am positive that you would want to try the pure goodness that is Toblerone after this video. While some might argue that there's no wrong way to eat Toblerone, whether by nibbling at it or biting off pieces, there's certainly an easier way to break off these delicious triangles. You have probably been breaking off the pieces by pulling them outwards. However, this can take some skill and strength and would probably get chocolate all over your fingers. Instead, you push the triangles inwards towards the rest of the bar, or you could just tap it. Another school of thought says you could pinch two triangles together. There you have it. It's that easy. How do you eat a Toblerone? I gotta be honest, I've never had one before, but I love chocolate and definitely want to try it. Leave your answer in the comment section below.